philatelic observances of the Day of Confederation actually started in 1910, when the Swiss Postal Administration started issuing one or more postal cards each year. The picture sides of these cards typically show historical, holiday, work and home scenes depicted by Swiss artists who competed in annual design competitions. This 1911 card shows a battle scene from the Burgundy War of 1474 to 1477 when the Swiss defeated Charles the Bold. These Confederation festival cards appeared up to 1938 when the pro patria stamps succeeded them. Swiss airmail came into the philatelic spotlight in 1913 during a series of 11 special flights held to promote aviation. The private committees that organized these pioneer flights printed a commemorative stamp for each one for use on the mail they carried. Although the Postal Administration did not authorize the stamps, it did permit the use of special postmarks on them, as shown on this card carried from Bern to Bergdorf during the third flight that year. As a result, these stamps are considered semi-official and the forerunners of Switzerland's later airmail stamps. An official airmail stamp first appeared in Switzerland in 1919 when the military airport outside Zurich started a regular airmail service to Bern and later to Lausanne and Geneva. For prepayment of the extra charge for this service, the Postal Administration overprinted the 50 centime Helvetia with sword stamp with a red wing propeller, the symbol of military aviation in Switzerland. However, lack of public use of this service led to its suspension after several months. A second attempt at regular service began in 1920 with a 30 centime overprinted stamp from the same series to send airmail from Basel to Germany. This also failed to attract sufficient public use. By 1923, when planes were flying regular routes, not only within Switzerland, but to other countries as well, the Postal Administration decided it was time to begin issuing a definitive series of airmail stamps. These bear several designs, including early planes, a pilot with goggles, a mythical Icarus in flight, and a winged letter. Switzerland's airmail stamps, like its regular postage stamps, include a now familiar landscape series dating from 1941. Designed and engraved by the well-known stamp artist Albert Yersen, each of the eight values shows a different Swiss scene with a plane overhead. These two covers together bear stamps with five of the designs. Since this series, Switzerland has rarely issued new stamps for airmail usage. In recent years, mail by air from Switzerland has normally borne regular postage stamps. Swiss airmail issues over the past 30 years have usually been special commemoratives for use only on special flights. Of particular interest to collectors in the U.S. is this 1947 stamp for the maiden flight of Swiss Air, the national airline from Geneva to New York. This flight brought the Swiss government's famous conveyor belt philatelic exhibit for the International Cypex Exhibition in New York that year. Bad weather diverted the plane to Washington, and the Swiss postal officials had great difficulty getting the invaluable exhibit safely to New York by night train. Postage due stamps first appeared in Switzerland in 1878, showing a large numeral of value surrounded by 22 stars for the 22 cantons, but no obvious identification of the country. From 1878 to 1909, there were 34 printings of this design, first in blue, then in blue-green, and finally in a great variety of green shades. Other varieties of this basic stamp involve white and granite papers, carmine and vermilion, figures of value, wide and narrow control marks, and Greek cross watermark. In addition, there are two types of frame. In the first type, none of the winged wheels in the corners touches the outer circle around the numeral. In the second type, the upper right wheel, marked by an arrow, does touch, and if the frame is inverted, then the lower left wheel touches. To ease the handling of large parcels, the Swiss Postal Administration allowed the use of its high-value 500 centime postage due stamps to prepay postage on them from 1879 to 1893. During this period, its highest denomination regular postage stamps were only one franc, equal to 100 centimes. Only postal clerks, not postal patrons, 
had the authority to affix a postage due stamp on the parcel address card that accompanied each package. The unusual mixed frankings on this parcel card includes two 500 centime postage due stamps, three sitting Helvetia stamps on granite paper, and one cross and numeral stamp. In 1956, Switzerland stopped using postage due stamps. Instead, it added ordinary postage stamps to underpaid letters and canceled them with a T, meaning tax in French. The T exists in two usual forms, a small solid letter within a circle or a large outline letter. Since 1971, the Postal Administration has been phasing out these so-called T dues stamps in the larger post offices and returning to its original way of marking postage due letters in the 19th century with a hand-struck T mark directly on the cover. The first official stamps for government use in Switzerland appeared in 1918 for the Industrial War Economy Section of the Federal Department of Economic Affairs. The German name of the agency was overprinted on current regular stamps in two styles, thin letters with serifs, shown on the left, and thicker letters without serifs. This agency was one of the many that Switzerland organized to meet the demands that World War I placed on it. One result of this increased wartime activity was a substantial increase in the volume of Swiss mail. These official stamps helped the agency to simplify its postal bookkeeping and thus send letters more quickly. Before the Swiss Postal Administration could provide similar overprinted stamps for use by other federal agency, the war ended. The second issue of official stamps, this one for use by all government offices, did not appear until 1935. In this case, current stamps were perforated with nine holes forming a cross as shown on the top piece. Later official issues bear an overprint of a Swiss cross illustrated in the middle or the French word for official shown at the bottom. Switzerland has also issued official stamps for exclusive use by different international organizations with offices in Geneva, beginning with the League of Nations in 1922. Displayed here from left to right, top to bottom, are examples of regular Swiss stamps overprinted with the French names for the League of Nations, International Labor Office, International Bureau of Education, World Health Organization, International Organization of Refugees, and the United Nations. In 1955, Switzerland began issuing specially designed stamps for use by some of the same or international organizations and others. In this group are stamps for the United Nations, International Labor Office, International Telecommunications Union, World Health Organization, World Meteorological Organization, Universal Postal Union, and International Bureau of Education. In 1969, the Swiss government signed an agreement allowing the United Nations to handle its own postal affairs in Geneva. Beginning in 1911, the Swiss Postal Administration issued free franc stamps to public welfare and charitable organizations for use on their official correspondence. These franchise stamps bear a different overprinted control number for each institution. On the top cover are stamps from two different franchise issues each with the number for the Baron Cantonal Institution for the Insane at Munsingen. On the lower cover, from a hospital, is a franchise stamp showing Henri Dunant, who founded the International Red Cross in Geneva. When the Swiss Postal Administration started telegraph service in 1852, it required customers to send and pay for their telegrams at post offices. To reduce the work of the postal clerks who had to count the words in each message, and the time that customers had to wait in line, it issued a series of telegraph stamps in 1868 with values reflecting standardized message rates. With these stamps, the public could prepay the charges for telegrams. Representative of these stamps are the three high values on granite paper shown here. Telegraph stamps remained in use until 1886 when the Postal Administration ended this method of handling payments. <laughs>